Well, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm with um, a childhood friend, um, Alexander Gonyora, who is an anointed mighty man of God, an entrepreneur, and a mighty man who has known his purpose ever since he was young. This man has started ministering when he was young. He used to minister. I remember when we grew up, this guy used to, you know, any opportunity to minister the word of God, could it be in an ET, could it be in a bus, wherever we were, he would just start ministering the word of God. Alex, how are you? How are you saying? It's good to meet you today. That's great. Alex, we just want to find out. I mean, you found your purpose at a young age, and there are a lot of people out there who don't know what they're exactly they're supposed to do in life. So we want to find out from you, what made you get that conviction at a young age to know that you're a man of God and you're destined to be in ministry? When you grow up, uh, there's always that thing that you like doing the most. Uh, but if you're going to get a wrong, if you're going to personally get a wrong interpretation of it, mm. uh, it, uh, you, it, might, it might be your biggest hindrance. But... Um, we might, as much as we might get a wrong interpretation of the thing, but if we can have somebody who can interpret it for you, right? You remember Joseph? The, there was a time he was in the in, in jail, mm. and people now were dreaming things, but they needed somebody to interpret that for them. Yeah. So I think what God gave me, for me to understand my callings and purpose mm. in this life, is that He gave me an interpreter. Wow. You understand? So I got that person and I said, okay, so God, that's, that's what you made me to be. But mm. the Bible says, for I know the plans that I have for you, mm. plans not to harm you. So that means in each and every one of us, there is something that God has put in us so wow. that it can manifest. So the, the times we, we hold it in, why maybe because of fear. But I think you need to surround yourself with people that are going to celebrate the, the gifting that God has imparted in your life so that they can help you water and uh, cultivate whatever that is, it in, is in you. You know, there's so many people I know when we grew up, there are a lot of people who used to laugh at you, people who used to, you know, a lot, a call lot. you pastor, people who used to try and pull down Most what you had. I remember growing up every time there was a funeral in the ghetto, in I'm the high density, you, he would just rock up. I would just be there and, you know, I was your pastor. Boy, I, He's buried many people. There. He's, there's so many things that he've done. But tell me, <laughs> what what made you stay true to your purpose and your it was, There's a passion. I love people. Yeah. I, I love people. There, there's no way you can love somebody they are hungry and you don't feed them. I might not have had food, but I had another type of food. I had spiritual food. Mm. You could tell that these people, as much as they are having bread in their houses, there's another type of bread that they're not having. The Bible says that Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Mm. So you could find that people, as much as they were just living, they were living without direction. Why? Right. They were hungry. Mm. What were they waiting for? The bread. And who had it? It was in me. God said, wow. I have given you this bread that you can give the world. Say, Go ye out into the world. You know, when the Bible talks about the world, it's yeah. not just talking about geographical uh, areas. No, no, not, not mm. really. But actually what they are doing is that they, they, when the world is it's like, a, uh, it's like a group of people. Right. With, the same, with, the right, with the same set of thinking. Mm. That's the world. That's why people, you can, the, your world can be the marketplace. That's right. Your world can be uh, the, the people uh, who, who are selling different type of commodities. Yeah. You understand what I'm talking about? But now, I had to go to, the, to those people. Actually, I was looking for, for, for funerals. At that time, I would look for funerals. <laughs> and then if I would hear yeah. that there's a funeral here, I will go and bath. You know how it yeah, yeah. and and put on something that was written. And I will ask, is there anybody ministering here? The moment they told me there's nobody, I will just say I'm here. And my Bible, my small Bible, will come out of the, the, my pocket, and I'll minister to people with the passion. People will give their life to I, Christ. I personally witnessed that. This uh, is not a joke. Yeah. Or a the other time it was your, mom, your mom's funeral. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was there, and I was so young, and I was so yeah. naive. But That's at right. that time, I I knew that there was something about me. Wow. People would tell that what is speaking here is not this small boy, but yeah. it's Suppose the Bible says who is in you is greater. You mm. see, it's not about you. Yeah. It's about who is in you. That's so right. you, it's an opportunity. It's a decision that you need to make. That, okay, God, you want me to do this. I'm, I'm going to do this. 
both ways. So ever you're gonna put your foot on, you will possess. So wow. it's, 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 everything is at our disposal. God has done everything. We are waiting upon God, yet God is waiting upon us. I remember wow. this man the other time. I was always crying to him. No, things are not moving. And he said, Why won't you do what God has called you to do? When I was talking about an interpreter, he's one of the people that God has used in my life as an interpreter. You understand? So the moment I said I'm gonna make a decision, so that I'm gonna go out there and start to do what God has called me to do. You know, when you do so, when you start to do something that you love to do, yeah, even without pay, God will start to pay you. That's right. So apparently, I'm right now. I'm, I'm enjoying uh, the the sweet advice that I've received from my brother, and God never said it's gonna be easy, but no, He said that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's so right. no matter what you're going through, just know that God is with you. You are not alone. Mm. Your wife might leave you. Your husband might leave you. Your partner might leave you, but definitely you are not alone. Wow. Yeah. Now those are some wise words from Alex. And uh, he's a man, we grew up together, it's and so I've seen the true. grace of God upon his life. He's somebody who is determined. Yeah. And this is to somebody out there, you know, the reason why I keep doing these videos again and again mm -hmm. is to show you that all of us have a story. It doesn't matter what field or industry that we are right. in. Right. One thing that he spoke about, which I love, stay true to what you do. Follow your passion, Definitely. you see? You have to do what you love to do because that's the thing that God put inside of you. Yes, Don't do things to please people. Don't do things because you're trying to, you know, make no. other people happy. No. Live your own no. life. Stay in your lane. That's right. Stay, Stay in your lane, lane Stay and in your do lane. what you love. Almost and Alex, well, what are the last words you want to just encourage somebody who is out there who may be going through a difficult time, who may be saying, you know what, the economy, things are not wow. going well, things are not balancing. Mm. But what can you say to somebody who is out there? You might not have a pulpit. But the Bible says, preach in and out of season. The way we minister is just different. But it's not always about the pulpit. You can minister with your money. You can minister with your gift in whatever way God has given you. The Bible said, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no has it perceived in the heart of man what God is about to do in your life. The Bible even said that, behold, I do a new thing. Mm. So just to know that God is about to do a new thing. Because right now you are at your lowest. So the only way that is left now is to go up. But That's now right. your mindset has got to be changed. The Bible says that be ye transformed. Transformed means, met it's a Greek word, meaning metamorph metamorpho. Metamorpho means in a change in form. Mm. You know, the life cycle of a butterfly, egg, larva, pupa, and then an adult. Mm. So the way that thing changes from an egg to a, 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 to a larva, it can, a lava cannot change back to an egg. Right. So exactly when your mindset is changed from a, 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 a negative point of view to a, a positive point of view, that means you won't go back. That's right. You see, so that's what you need. The only thing that will transform your mind is the word of God. You need to stay to the word of God. There's no other way. Jesus said, I'm the truth, the way, and the life. So I'm telling you, no matter what people may say against you, but what's more important, whose report are you going to believe? God is saying that I'm with you. No matter you go through the waters, you shall not drown. But go through the fire, the fire will not burn you. So it doesn't matter. You don't need people's fault. God is, if you got God's fault, nobody's fault matters. Mm. So the best is yet to come. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my personal friend, Alex, uh, who is a pastor. Thank you, sir. Now, who is really flowing in what he loves to do. Thank you, sir. And uh, this is to you out there. You know, stay true to what you do. Stay in your lane. Yes, love what you do. Don't live a life yeah. to please people, but live a life that suits you. You may be going through a hard time, but just like he said, be transformed Come on now. in your mind, yes, true. and you will never be the same. Careful of what comes out of your mouth. You're mm. the first prophet in your life. Yes. Speak positive, yeah. even when you're going through the hard that times, because you will persevere, yeah. and there's no battle that the Lord gives you. That he knows you can't overcome wow. wherever you are i hope this blessed you stay true to what you do yeah. stay in your lane it's your boy gb and yours truly alexander <laughs> peace yes.